we're here speaking with Charles Martinet, uh, the voice of Mario. Um, so we wanted to just ask you a couple quick questions. Sure. Um, could you tell us about your your work before working with Nintendo? Sort of what got you started in voice acting? Oh, that's interesting. I, the, the, I got started in voice acting. I was doing a commercial, and it took nine hours to light it. It was the American Gothic with the uh, pitchfork and the bride. And we did that for nine hours, and the director said, do you do voiceover? And I said, y yes, I do not knowing exactly what a voiceover was, because I thought Fred Flintstone was kind of real. And he, he said, well, here's the script. And I said, oh, it's just supply hardware, the right item at the right price, right now. And I, I got the same pay for that as nine hours standing there. So I said, I'm a voice actor. <laughs> and that was the beginning of that. You know, then I did a thousand radio and TV commercials. And, and then uh, one day I was sitting there on the beach waiting for the pager to go off, and it was friend of mine saying, you got to go crash this audition. I said, there's no way I crash an audition. It's for, it's for a job in Las Vegas. I said, there's no way I do it. Where do I go? And I went and that was the audition for Mario. He, the direction was start talking and don't stop until you run out of the things to say. And it's been 31 years and I'm still going. <laughs> I also wanted to ask uh, about sort of early Mario versus, you know, what we have now, which is a very refined, polished Mario. Sort of what has the evolution been? How have you sort of approached the development of Mario? Well, you know, I think it all came out of this more and more the spirit of just love and caring and tenderness and the, the, the loyalty and faithfulness and trustworthiness and adventure, positive attitude, all the things that I think I, I try to aspire to do for myself personally in life, you know, to face adversity with a let's go instead of a oh no, you know. So I just, uh, inspirational that way. He's the man I would like to be. When you were going into sort of some of your early, you know, studio recordings for Mario, um, what was your thought process at that time, you know? Did you have sort of a crystallized idea of how he was supposed to sound? Yes, I was very lucky because I worked for five years doing Mario in real time, a real time animation system that was developed by Sim Graphics Engineering that's still going on in New York at the Manhattan store of uh, Nintendo. You know, you can talk to Mario. I was hidden in the back, I got a hidden microphone, hidden camera, and I would talk and these contact would roll and you'd see Mario say, hello, I'm a Mario, let's make a pizza pie. And that's uh, that's began the dialogue process. So I had five years of learning how to do Mario and deciding where I wanted to go with it. And then I did Mario Teaches Typing. And some of the, you know, the script was like, you know, oh, you failed, uh, let's try again. You know, and I said, can I change that to, you know, uh, that was great, but I know you can do even better. And that sort of positive attitude began the clues of what to do in the game. Now, um, I also wanted to ask sort of, when do you think you sort of hit your stride, got the character, again, really sort of crystallized, where it wasn't you were trying out different things, where you really realized, this is what Mario is, you know, I, I sort of know who this character is. That was Mario Teaches Typing. Oh, really? It really was, yeah. Huh. That was the cornerstone where I realized, you know, kids get no all the time. Yeah. I didn't want to ever say no, and Mario never says no and never is, is mean or cruel or vicious or, you know, uh, uh, hurtful. It's always loving and caring and compassionate. I am a believer in that in life to begin with, you know. I believe you, you should be your own best friend. The most cruel voice we all hear is the one from ourselves. But if we treat ourselves like our own best friend, we start developing a sense of, of, of self-identity that is caring and loving. And out of that, you then deserve, you know you deserve, to do what you want in life. You deserve happiness and joy. And it's what I wish for everybody, is that you find what you love to do in life. Like, you found what you love to do in life. And so every day is unique and wonderful and brings happiness outward as well as inward. And I think that's, that's how I reflect on life, is it's such a beautiful gift. The video game industry, you know, I don't need to tell you, has come such a long way. <laughs> um, you know, I, I sort of wanted to know what your earliest exposure was to video games was, and sort of just your experience being able to see behind the scenes how it's grown. Yeah, my, my early experience was playing Tank, you know, and, and uh, Asteroids. And, you know, and there were, of course, there was no voice and nothing in there like that. And then all of a sudden, I, I, I think the first game I ever did, it was like a Tank, you know, game. It's like you had to die a hundred different ways, and I was like, ugh! You know, it had to be really short because the memory was there. But the thing about video games that I think is remarkably unique, I guess it's like the film industry, in that the passion, the joy, the thrill of it, and the desire to create perfect entertainment, 
perfect characterizations, perfect scenarios and adventures for people. That, that desire and integrity is what leads it to go, the technology to follow suit. You know, originally it was one si single frame and you worked in that frame. And then, well, what happens if we side scroll? What if we expand that adventure? And then three dimensions, which is what Mario 64 was. What happens if you go in three dimensions? What happens if you get off the couch? What happens if you take a portable and at home? Everything leading to the next next step in joy and fun, and I think that's 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 beautiful. That's what makes things work. Now, because again, you know, asteroids and things like that. That yeah. I would assume is what you would be playing when you were younger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you ever imagine that you would sort of be at this point where you are, you know, helping, you know, make a fully immersive, you know, really well polished uh, experience? Right? Did you ever sort yeah. of Im imagine that? Well, I had never heard of Mario, and I'd never heard of Nintendo when I crashed the audition. I had no concept of what video games are, but I also had no concept of what, what anime really was, because it was so different back then, you know? I was just in this film, uh, Dragon Ball Super, Superheroes, and it, it was just such an amazing thing to recognize the artistry that goes into every craft and how it continues to evolve. And, you know, it's just an honor to be part of this incredible industry. I think artists are lucky, and everyone that's in voiceover, everyone that's in film, in general, we're all seeking to be strong artists and have integrity in our work. And I, th I think that that's part of the whole longevity thing of why a, a show like Dragon Ball or a, a video games like Mario games, they last forever, you know, or Halo lasts forever. It, because the, the, the desire is to make it just this perfect polished gem, you know? And that's what artists do. They seek that perfection. I wanted to ask you about, I, I would imagine it's a sort of surreal, bizarre experience to have shaped the childhoods of so many people um, yeah. and, and to really be, you know, some of their favorite memories you played a big part of, but they don't know who you are or your face. Um, it, how do you sort of, you know, reconcile that? How do you sort of think about your impact on, you know, just millions and millions of people? Well, it is so beautiful, and that's the beautiful thing about coming to SAC Anime. I'm seeing so many people from 55 all the way down to 5 who say, these marvelous things like you're the voice of my childhood, I grew up with you, which is fun when a five-year-old says that. I grew up with you, I used to play your games. Oh, what do you play now? I'm still playing your games. Oh, good, phew, you know? It's just beautiful. And that's the thing is, I think everybody in the world has so much impact. But you know, the, we artists here at this great SAC anime, we get to talk experience where our fans' reaction to our, our work over 25 years, 30 years, 31 years for me, and it's it's a beautiful thing. I wish every I wish I wish every electrician could hear. You know, thank you very much. That plug in the kitchen every day for 30 years. We had toast. My kids had toast in the morning because it is true. We have so much impact on each other. And I think you know, as a world, people are really good. You see so much news about how terrible things are, but human beings are truly, truly good. You know, that's what I wish for the world to understand the the beauty of humankind. Uh, one, one final question I, I sure. wanted to ask, you know, a lot of people when they've been working on a project for a long time, years even, you know, they just want nothing to do with it, right, <laughs> afterward. Um, uh, do, you, do you sit down and sort of spend a lot of time with the games at that point? You know, I, for me, I would never get tired of doing Mario because if I say, it's a me, Super Mario, woohoo, what happens is someone smiles right. and that makes it like it's the very first time I ever did it. So for me, playing the games, I'm a little idiosyncratic. When I play the games, I do all the sounds. So I don't have to have the volume on. Otherwise, I'm in stereo. I just sit there, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, when I play Galaxy, I'm like, I, I'm like, honestly, I can't do it without, without being 100% physical. <laughs> well, if you could just, would it be all right to get a little Wahoo? Is that okay, just sure. to close us out? Thank you very much. You're number one. Wahoo. See you in my games.